Hey, what's up guys? Tim here again. Got another tutorial for you today. We're revisiting the Solomon's Dragon and this time we're doing some stitching to it. So this is this design here and a full credit of the people that uh, kind of came up with the design in the description down below. So feel free to check that out. So this is uh, just a Solomon's Dragon, but we've added white microcord stitching around the accent and it creates this really, really interesting look here almost like eyes or something, which is really cool. But uh, yeah, you can experiment with different color combinations for this one. I went a little more simpler. I only went with the solid gray body with the black widow accent and the white microcord accent. So this one's, uh, it's, it's not too hard. Got the white buckle there to match the stitching too, which looks great. And uh, yeah, that's what we'll be, we'll be doing in this tutorial. And uh, yeah, stay tuned and we will get into the lesson. Okay hey guys, so I got my paracord core set up on my jig. I'm just using the single cow's hitch on buckles, and these are half inch buckles, I believe. And uh, yeah, I will annotate the exact size of my bracelet as usual right here, along with my paracord used. So I've got uh, this gray here. I believe this is charcoal gray. And I've got uh, six and a half feet of the main weaving cords for my accent. I've got about two and a half feet of the Black Widow Okay, so um, just to review, we've done this before, but we'll just go through this again. We're going to start up top. We're going to put our weaving strands middle point behind the core. And uh, we're just going to start off with a single cobra knot. So right over the core, left over that, and out through the other side. Okay, so I'm going to push this up. Okay, now after that first cobra knot, we're going to incorporate our accent color. So I'm going to take this one. I'm going to go through the middle and you want this over the left uh, strand like that. See? So you're going to put this out of the way here. And then you're just going to tie your next cobra knot like so. Okay, so we're going to pull that shut and since that up nicely and push everything up a little more there we go okay so now from here uh just keep track of which side the accent cord went over so now that because we went over the um, left side we're going to bring this cord through the middle again and we'll cover the right core strand like that okay okay so we've got that there and now, next cobra knot. All right, so as you can see, very, very easy. Nice and simple, but already looking really cool. Let's do one more. Okay, so we went through the right, now we do the left. So cover the left one. There we go. Okay, so now that we've uh, reviewed this, I'm going to continue weaving, finish this off till the end. I'm not going to... Uh, snip and singe anything till the we're fully done but yeah so i've got my solomon's dragon or caged solomon going and uh yeah i will get back to you when we're done the uh the main weave and then we can add the the stitching all right okay so coming to the end of my bracelet you may need a fit if you're doing this on buckles as i am here so i've got my fit attached to my accent just to get it through this last little bit here okay so we're done that and we will tie the last knot okay bring this one through here there we go okay so i'm not going to cut off the excess yet but um yeah this is what your uh solomon's dragon should look like right now and um or roughly the same and then uh, yet yeah, now we're going to add the stitching all right so now for the stitching part uh, I've got my bracelet here and I've got my microcord stitch and roughly three and a half feet of my white microcord. I hope that's enough. So the way we're going to start out is we're going to do, um, we're going to have to do like two passes. We're going to have to go from the bottom here all the way through the bracelet and we're going to do the bottom stitch first and then we'll come back and do the top. So you see what I mean here. So I'm going to start here. See, I didn't cut and melt yet anything here. I'm going to start off at the bottom like so. I'm going to pull pretty much everything through. Okay, let's 
this guy right here. Oh, don't want to go too far. Okay, so from here, I started on the side stitch. Then I'm going to go, I'm going to follow along right here, the bottom part of this. I'm going to go through to the other side, like so. Pull this all the way through. Okay. See, you want this to sit right at the very bottom here, like that. So now I'm going to be rotating this bracelet a bit just to make it easier for myself. So now we're going to go to this one next. Okay. So we're going to go through the side of the Cobra stitch out like so. We'll pull this all through and then we're going to follow now this side here, right here. So I'm going to go through my bracelet here, just across, like so, and then we pull everything through. Like that. See? So I'm, I'm kind of just going like this all the way through. So now we're going to turn it over again. Oh, what's going on here? Okay, there we go. So just to show you one last time, I'm going to go through the bottom here, pull this all through, and then across to the other side here. So I'm just going to continue this um, stitching all the way to the other side of my bracelet. You can kind of guess where we're going with that. Um, after you've done this side, the bottom side, then we're going to come back and do the top side. Okay. So just continue doing what you're doing. Just the quote unquote bottom stitch or the bottom of this uh, little accent here. And then, yeah, we'll move on to the next step. Okay. So as you can see, I've done stitching all the way through to one end. See, we've done one side. Now we're going to turn around and go back the other way. So this part might be a little tricky because I haven't snipped and singed my, um, excess yet. Uh, this might be different for you if you're doing a, doing this on a pre-existing uh, bracelet. But anyways, so I've come through this end here. See, I'm on that side. Now I'm just going to go reverse, uh, come through the, I'm going to go through this knot here on the side here. I'm going to go through this side knot like so. I'm going to bring that, I'm going to pull that tight again. I'm going to bring this around and follow that line there. Okay, so we're going to go through the side knot here. So if you are doing this on a pre-existing Solomon's Dragon, you might just have to play around with it and figure out what works best for you. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so now we've turned around. And now at this point, we're just going to go back the way we came, but we're going to go on the opposite side. So I'm going to go through this knot here. Go up, through, and then we're going to go through this knot here, across. And you want to make sure, try to pull everything to the side. There you go, pull it tight. This will look better when I get through to the next knot. So now we're on this side. We're going to go through the bottom, bottom side knot. Like so, and then we're going to go through here. All right, so you guys can pretty much get the idea of what we're doing. There you go. See, there's that awesome pattern we're looking for. Okay, so now I'll just show you one more time. Uh, we're going to do this one here, go through the bottom like this. And then through the top. Okay, so I'm going to continue stitching back the way I came. If you want, you can try to keep the cord to the side as much as you can. And if this isn't popping out enough, you can even take your fit and pull up on the accent a little to make it stick out a little more. Okay, so I'm going to go back the way I came. And yeah, we should be finished on this side. 
Oh, and just as a bit of insurance, I kind of tucked this starting point strand right under this knot here. Okay, so I'm going to go back the way I came, finish this off, and we'll be finished. Okay, so I'm almost at the end here of my stitching. And unfortunately, I run a little short here. I'm not able to do this with my fid, so I'm just going to use my hemostats and pull this through. So, yeah, you might want to give yourself a little extra, but I will, of course annotate all this so let's pull this through here there we go and then pull this through the last knot let's get that through here there we go okay so that is pretty much it so we're going to have to secure this. Uh, I think what I'll do is I will just tuck it under here. Let's see if we can do that right now, actually, without too much struggle. So let's go under here. Let's pull that under. There we go. Okay. Yep, there we go. There we have it. So that out of the way all right looking good um so i'm just going to sip and singe all of my excess this here the white and this here at the bottom and then we will be finished all right and there we have it we are finished snipped and singed off all the excess here and here which the back looks like and that is it this is the stitched solomon's dragon this design looks really, really cool. And of course, the credit for the uh, people who came up with this is in the description. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So uh, definitely do leave a comment or question down below if you're not sure about uh, any part of the steps. And um, you know, even just let me, leave me a comment on what you think about this design. You guys like it? You guys don't like it? All right. So that is it, guys. Thank you so much for spending your time with me. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And uh, also, guys, check out my Patreon if you like what I do and you feel like supporting me. Uh, that'd be really great. And also, if you like this video, feel free to hit that like button. All right. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you on the next video.